All right, here's um, how to stretch the pecs, and, and you know, there's many ways to to do stretches and stuff like that. Um, the pecs are a real important one to do, especially the pec minor. The pec minor is a real problem muscle for sh shoulders and necks and postural things. You know, it just really is an overactive uh, muscle that inhibits weaker ones like the serratus anterior, right, which is crucial for pushing stuff. So. There's three ways that we might do a stretch. This first one is like the most common one, and this one very much stretching the pec major. So the key to this is to have like a 90 degree angle that the elbow or the forearm, I suppose you could say, sort of pushes into the, into the you could do it against the door frame or anything like that, pushes into there, and then your body, as you're pushing into there, your body tries to turn away from it as such like that, all right? Um, don't take the stretch to pain, just take it to the point where you feel it. Now, if I want to progress, say, for people with shoulder problems, this, this position here can be very painful. So, And we, we're now actually getting the uh, pec minor as such. So all I do is I lower the, the arm down to more of an angle like that, still pushing into the, into the post or door frame as such. This one, the, just the angle of it hits the fibres of the pec minor. Um, and again, we just get that turning away feeling. All right, so very, very simple stretches to do, you know, holding for 30 seconds to a minute, just breathing nice and calm throughout. Um, very, very simple and, and can be very, very effective at relieving um, uh, things that are inhibiting you from working correctly. All right, now, my most preferred stretch of them all is the pec, is the myofascial pec stretch where we will use the floor. Um, now, this is a... This is a great stretch because we actually get involved more than just the pec. We get also the bicep tendon and also through the forearms as well. So this is a classic one uh, for the person who's, and you can see Nathan a little bit tight through his pecs here. Um, he's on an angle more like that. We would like to see him come right up into this. So we also get like a hip movement it's coming around. So, so it's a bit more of an integrated movement. Um, and and that la the last bit that makes it myofascial is this wrist pulling back. So he's basically pulling the pec this way by pulling his pushing his body up, but he's also pulling the pec this way. So we get like a tug of war feeling. You see that? So where the other stretches not so much. This one is a definite noticeable one that we see. And if I play it until he goes to the other side, we also get to see. Um, problems around the elbow and where people are really stiff through the bicep tendon um, so which is works in conjunction with that pec all right so it's a very good stretch this one for really uh, showing all of those things so in this position here if a person had has that tight bicep we'll, we'll find it really hard for them to get that elbow to lock out onto the ground all right it's sort of a giveaway that we might follow that up with some bicep stretches specifically as well and looking to try and lengthen that out. But there's a good example of where, see, he's, Nathan's a bit better on this side because he's not left-handed, so his right arm is the more tighter side. All right, so that's how you do three different ways to do the pec stretch. I'll see you on one of our next videos.